Forward to a good run. What's the matter? Did I say it wrong? Oh, something else. All right, out of turn number four. Green flag is up. We're racing. Once again, they'll go three wide into turn number one. Watch out, 26 Murphy sticking the nose in the middle. Now he'll go to the bottom. That won't work. Look out, we touched a couple. And they're going to get together. There goes one, and all it takes is a wheel. And he comes to a stop. Is it? Can tell you what might have happened to the driver inside the roll cage. Did it invented, but it's all of the wheels and axles that take most of the force and beat off the ground and get bounced around a little bit. And Barnum bring him out of turn four. Three wide already. Into turn one. Look out. Still close quarters racing down the back stretch. It's the seven machine. Jamie Barnum out of Spring Hill getting the early jump. Now inside goes the one. They'll rub and race. And that'll give the 30. Mike Belzar a shot way out in front. Oh, contact. The seven going to go around. 51 got into him, and he's going to wind up on his side. Red light coming out. And suddenly, you just uh, Tommy tip over. Real slow, you lay there for a second until enough people get to you to turn you upright and not slam you down. Belzar gets the uh, green flag. Down into turn one, everybody uh, staying in line now. Up high goes the five of a Steiner. Not sure if he was having some trouble in one. 51 taking a peek inside, but it's still the 30 of a Belzar out front. Now 51 sideways, he's gonna let some folks get by as the 26 of Durfee goes inside, outside, outside, inside. He'll take over the third spot out of turn two. Go from fifth to third real quick in half a lap. 15 goes back to the pit area. Taylor's still having some trouble. 30 of Belzar out front. One machine of Jack Duffy trying to reel back in the 30, but here comes the 26. Ted Durfee, he's trying to make up some ground. So is the seven of uh, Jamie Barnum. Barnum gonna hope he can get a couple of cautions to help him make up some ground at times, but right now it's the 26 of uh, Durfee trying to make a move into that second spot. Down the back stretch, he'll look to the outside. Now back to the inside. One machine of Duffy trying to hold him off. Jack Duffy trying to get the job done in second, but Durfee gets the move inside down the front stretch. Takes over the spot. He'll now set sail for our leader. Still got 20 laps in this one. 19 laps left to go this time by. Plenty of time to reel in that leader. 33 off the pace, turn three and four. Real slow. Headed for the infield. Good job. Out of the way. Meanwhile, it's the 30 of uh, Mike Belzar out front, out of Ponte Gorda. He's trying to run away and hide. Sarasota's uh, Ted Durfee trying to reel him back in, and he's starting to do it. A little bit closer each and every lap. Sticks the nose in, backs off, gives him room. Comes off turn number four, though. He'll get the jump there. Take over the spot as they go through turn one. So now Ted Durfee off to the races, see if he can run off and hide before something does happen to tighten up the field. As the seven of, uh, the seven of Jamie uh, Barnum works his way past the 51. Now he's got to work on the one of Duffy. Out of turn four, 30, still hanging tough fall back after getting past. He's staying right there with the leader. Durfee makes a mistake. Belzar will be right there to make the move. Belzar got a good run through three and four. Stays right on the back bumper. Kicks it up. Stays right with him until they come off turn two.
Meanwhile, lots of racing action back in the pack as the five of uh, Steiner hanging on to third with Duffy and uh, our early uh, leader Barnum now trying to uh, make up some ground. Durfee and Belzar have a whole half a lap on the rest of the field. 17 laps down. Ted Durfee doing the job out front. The fluorescent colored 26 and black colored machine doing a good job, but he's not shaking the 30 of Mike Belzar in a white car. Tires change enough in the next few laps, he might still be able to pounce. Trying to watch both ends at once as Duffy in the one rolls back up on the back bumper of the five. 20 laps down. Sorry, I forgot. They added a lap. Six laps left to go. This time, there's five laps left to go. Five more to go around. Watching close, Duffy made the move for third. He got past the five of Steiner. First and second run. It's not over yet. The 30 of Belzar now starting to press the issue. Looks like he thinks he's got enough car to get it done. Belzar rolls through the corner a little high that time. Came in a little hard. Had to back off to miss the uh, back end of the 26. Seven, uh, Barnum taking a peek inside the five of Steiner off turn four. Lap traffic may come into play after all. I thought we were gonna get there without it. We got two laps left to go, two more times around. Ted Durfee out in front, trying to hang on the 30 machine of Mike Belzar. Gonna try to make the move. White flags up, lap traffic in front. Will it make a difference? Durfee trying to hang tough. Belzar gotta make a move, where can he get it done? Lap traffic gonna hold up the leader. That gives the opportunity maybe. On the outside goes the 30, but he can't make it stick. Durfee's gonna win it. Belzar second. And it'll be the one of Duffy hanging on for third. Barnum hang, gets the uh, fourth place finish. And the five of Steiner. Trying to get the helmet off. <laughs> Ted Durfee got it done. He has won the Freddie Stutz Memorial. <laughs> yeah, you like the sound of that, don't you? I like the sound of that one. Ted, buddy. How you doing, sir? I'm doing pretty good. Last time I saw you, you were getting married. Yeah, now. Nah. My wife's here finally. Every time she comes to a race, I do pretty well. But I got to thank Lou, Klaus, all the fans, Kevin Weiniger. Kevin built the car. Lou works on it. The competitors, I saw see an ugly wreck over there. That's pretty ugly. That's my old car going on in this loop. At least it's built pretty strong, but my dad's my dad's birthday today. So I got to say happy birthday, dad, and thanks. Thanks, fans. <laughs> I tell you what, Ted getting the job done, uh, newlywed and all, was a, a great, great feather in his cap with that uh, memorial victory. I'm on the pole for the next race, but I did want to stop because this is the Freddie Stutz Memorial. Good job, Teddy. Good job, This Mike. is the Freddie Stutz Memorial race. We really wanted to win this race for one reason. This is Freddie Stutz's old car right here. We put it back together over the winter after I crashed one last year. So Freddie's car almost won it again. We tried really hard, but that's the best we could do today. So I appreciate everybody coming out and thank you all for being here. All right, you hurry. <laughs> Take it easy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as he uh, hustles back, get up. Jack, a lot of folks looking up there and they always want to ask me, how young are you? Uh, 39, but I had a hard life. I look a little older. 39, look a little older. I'll, get, I'll buy that one. 79 in July, ladies and gentlemen. Jack Duffy still out here having fun. There's still a lot of fans love you. How, how much longer do you think you'll do it, buddy? I don't know. You never know. As long as I'm competitive, you know, uh, why not? 